Hello, and welcome back to Beyond the Page. In this series, we look at your favourite comic creators to see just how they got their start in comics. If you enjoy this video, make sure you subscribe so you never miss another one. If you tuned into Mad Dog Comics MDC8 on Friday night, you might know who this episode is going to cover. But if not, today we're looking at Kieran Gillen, known for writing Star Wars Darth Vader, The Wicked and the Divine, and Young Avengers. I've read some of Gillen's Darth Vader and the first trade of Dai, a Dungeons and Dragons based comic similar to Stranger Things. I really enjoyed both and found that Gillen's writing style was so unique in the way that he expertly blends complex plots with relatable characters. But who is Gillen outside the world of comics? In this video we aim to find out. So strap in and get ready as we go beyond the page. Kieran Michael Gillen was born on the 30th of September 1975 in Stratford, England. Before becoming a comic book writer, Gillen was a game and music journalist. This is something that's relevant throughout his works, especially in his debut comic, Phonogram, which centres around music. Gillen was a founder of the PC gaming site Rock Paper Shotgun and, in 2000, became the first ever video game journalist to receive an award from the Periodical Publishers Association for new specialist consumer journalist. Unfortunately, in 2010, Gillen declared on the website Rock Paper Shotgun that he was leaving full-time game journalism to better devote his time to comic writing and his contract with Marvel. Kieran Gillen began his comic writing in 2006 with Phonogram with Jamie McKelvey. Gillen and McKelvey have since teamed up again on various projects, including The Wicked and the Divine and Jung Avengers. They started working together in 2003 on a comic strip for the official PlayStation magazine UK. Something I found really cool was that Jamie McKelvey has redesigned a number of characters' costumes, including the 2012 redesign of long-term character Carol Danvers for Kelly Pseudoconic's relaunch of the character as Captain Marvel. If you're interested in Captain Marvel, I'd recommend checking out the Beyond the Page video I did for Kelly Pseudoconic. Gillen's notable works for Image Comics include Phonogram, The Wicked and the Divine, and Die. Phonogram, as I mentioned, was Gillen's first comic and was released initially as a six-issue series and has received two sequels, one in 2008 and one in 2015. The synopsis for the book is as follows. Phonomancer David Cole goes hunting for new flames at a feminist festival only to get burnt by a very old one. A goddess scorned returns to collect her pound of flesh and demand reparations. Phonogram, a world where music is magic, where a song can save your life or end it. The book has since gone on to achieve a cult following and has been described as a comic book that will make you believe in music again. In 2017, a hardcover was released collecting the complete series. The Wicked and the Divine is another of Gillen's books that many people really enjoy. The synopsis states, every 90 years, 12 gods incarnate as humans. They are loved, they are hated. In two years, they are dead. Welcome to the Wicked and the Divine, where gods are the ultimate pop stars. But remember, just because you're immortal doesn't mean you're going to live forever. The series consists of 45 issues and can either be collected in 9 trade paperbacks or 4 hardcovers. It's definitely one I'd like to check out, I've heard a lot of really good things from a lot of people, so it might appear in a future haul. And finally Die, the Dungeons and Dragons book I mentioned earlier. Image Comics describes it as a pitch black fantasy where a group of 40 year old adults have to deal with the returning unearthly horror they barely survived as teenagers. Kieran Gillen himself has described it as goth Jumanji. Gillen has done a lot at Marvel. In late 2009, at Heroes Con, it was announced that Gillen would be writing a Dark Reign tie-in of the Dark Avengers Ares miniseries. Also in 2009, during the Chicago Comic Con, it was announced he would collaborate with Steven Sanders on a new ongoing series known as Sword. Gillen had a run on Thor following JMS from issues number 604 to 614. In late 2010, he started his ongoing series Generation Hope an X-Men spin-off that leads on from the end of the Second Coming storyline. Gillen continued on this title until issue 12, being followed by James Asmus. After collaborating with co-writer Matt Fraction, another writer who has been a subject of a previous Beyond the Page episode, on Uncanny X-Men, beginning with issue 531, Gillen became a sole writer for the title, starting with issue 534. His time on the title saw the book through the 2011 Fear Itself storyline, a renumbering to number one in the wake of the Schism storyline, and a tie-in with the Avengers vs X-Men storyline with issue 20. He wrote a five-issue miniseries, AVX Consequences, dealing with the aftermath of the event. In 2011, Gillen returned to Marvel's Asgard with a run on Journey into Mystery, the original name for Thor, continuing with its original numbering. He started with issue 
622. The run finished with issue 645 in October of 2012. As part of the Marvel Now relaunch, Gillum wrote two books, Invincible Iron Man, again taken over from Fraction, and Young Avengers, again with Jamie McClelvey. And finally for Marvel, Gillum began writing Star Wars Darth Vader in 2014 and received a lot of praise for his story. As I mentioned, it's a one that I've read the first trade of and I really enjoyed it. So there's a great interview when the story was announced. I'll link it down below in the description. In June 2020, Marvel Comics announced that Gillen would write the upcoming six-issue miniseries Warhammer 40,000, Marnius Kalgar, the first in a line of Warhammer comics published by Marvel, and it released in October of 2020. It's currently ongoing. On August 24th, 2020, Marvel announced that Kieran Gillen would be the writer on an Eternal series illustrated by Izad Rubik. The series debut issue was released on January 6th, 2021 and garnered positive reviews from critics. The series, much like a lot of his other work, is ongoing. Book 1 collects issues 1 to 6 and is set to be released on August 17th, 2021. Hopefully when this video goes up, that's tomorrow. Die is currently ongoing and with the final issue, issue 20, set to be released on September 29th, 2021. The fourth trade paperback is also set to be released later in 2021. On November 9th, the fourth book will collect issues 16 to 20 of the series. Another project Gillen is currently writing is for Boom Studios, which he started in 2019, titled Once and Future. The synopsis for the book is, when a group of nationalists use an ancient artifact to bring a villain from Arthurian myth back from the dead to gain power, ex-monster hunter Bridget Maguire escapes her retirement home and pulls her unsuspecting grandson Duncan, a museum curator, into a world of magic and mysticism. To defeat a legendary threat. So that's all for this video. Thank you all so much for watching, if anyone is still watching. I hope you enjoyed and were able to learn something new. If you did enjoy, please leave a like and consider subscribing down below. For now though, that's everything from me, so I'll see you later. Bye!